Sheldon, uh, little bootleg ass studio. <laughs> there was a firefighter who was spit in the face by a handcuffed man. The firefighter commits to punching him in the face. Didn't up his fronts. <laughs> I honestly don't blame the firefighter. But we're going to see what y'all say. All right, so we got news. We got news covering this thing. Let's see what news got to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that way y'all can actually see the video. Because our, uh, we ain't trying to get no strikes, you feel me? Check it out. A Miami Fire and Rescue Lieutenant spit on by a homeless Ooh. man. He then... Oh, that he missed it. Oh, 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 oh. Bro, missed that first one. He dodged that first one. If he'd have ate that first one, dog would have been lunch. A Miami Fire and Rescue. Oh, and he spit it lunch down. Hey, Lieutenant. Look. Spit on. Oh, <laughs> bro. His head would have been on the floor. He probably would have flipped that whole damn thing over. What that bitch called? A gurney? What is it? Stretcher? Whatever. That bitch would have been flipped over. Wheels would have been spinning till today. That bitch would have still been spinning. I'm telling you. Look. He. Ooh. Look at that arm. Look at it, nigga. Arm. Boy, if he'd have ate that. But let's continue. And by a homeless man, he then Ooh. unleashes several punches on the man. While See, that first one was that one. Them other ones was, he, you know, was eatable. Well, we're going to say edible because that's the more word. But you know what I mean? Like, he was able to eat those. That first one, we're going to take him smooth out of his misery. I'm telling you. Man, he probably would have been facing a murder charge or attempted murder. You know what I'm saying? Had he connected. While he's on a stretch. Let me let this news go. A Miami Fire and Rescue Lieutenant spit on Woo! a homeless man. He then unleashes several punches on the man while he's on a stretcher. All of it caught on camera. Good evening, and thank you for joining us. I'm Nasha Sherman. And I'm Elliot Rodriguez. Jim Barry is off tonight, and there are questions remaining as to what else happened in this case and what's the status of the firefighter's employment. CBS Force Chelsea Jones is live for us outside Jackson Memorial Hospital where all of this went down. Chelsea. Yeah, so guys, this actually happened back in October, and arrest documents show that Antonio Cruz, the man who... <laughs> Alabama Prime Time say, look how the wrist got back. <laughs> man, on that first swing, man, oh, God. I'm telling you, they got bike. Oh, God, they still bike. <laughs> allegedly spit on that firefighter was on heroin and cocaine when this all went down. He then became irate, according to those documents, and things only escalated once he got here. Spit, sparking punches Woo. by a firefighter on a cuffed man. Surveillance. He's on heroin and all this other stuff. Now, check it out. You One may say he's out his mind, but dig this. He had enough sense in his head to do this when that punch was coming. <laughs> bro, bro, I'm talking about who bro had enough sense to miss that motherfucking punch on guard. So, hmm, was he out of his mind or was he not? Firefighter on a Shit. cuffed man. Surveillance videos showing the early morning hours of October 15th. Here's how we got to this point. Is that police or security? Because what you're doing way back there, big dog, you probably be your front and center, G-Money. 
Either way, police are security. Yeah, it's got that on your waistline, look like. Arrest documents reveal Miami Fire Rescue was called to Northwest 22nd Court and Northwest 28th Street what? Miami for a man on drugs. What the police doing that on the other man, side identified for? as 29-year-old Antonio Cruz, was located and later cuffed to a stretcher before being transported here to Jack's Memorial Hospital. And it's what happened once he arrived here at JMH that is at the center of controversy. In this surveillance <laughs> they video, felt that you can wind blew their ass back. Flailing about while on a stretcher, appearing to be shouting, <laughs> though it's unclear what was said. Oh, then, good. according to arrest records, he spits on an unidentified Ugh. Miami Fire Rescue lieutenant. That's when you see that I firefighter it. lose it, throwing punches at crews while several people try to break it up. We've reached out to the city of Miami Department of Fire Rescue and they give us this statement. It reads, the department was made aware of a video released of an incident involving a Miami firefighter. When this incident occurred, the individual was immediately relieved of duty. Our department is conducting an administrative investigation while this individual remains in a relieved of duty status. Now, Cruz was charged with aggravated battery of a law enforcement officer and also reached out to the local firefighters union to get reaction and any information regarding this incident. When I spoke to them, they were in a board meeting. If we get any new information, we'll be sure to bring that to you. For now, we're live in Miami. I'm Chelsea. G yeah. Now. The firefighter says he doesn't regret. He doesn't regret. And them hands on, old boy. You know what I'm saying? Check that out. Check this out. Check this out. Hold on. Don't go nowhere. Where are you going? Firefighter doesn't regret repeatedly punching handcuffed patient who spit at him. Consider my actions public education. I think a lot of people need that. Cause if your mom and daddy don't whoop your ass when you step out of si out, out, out out of line, <laughs> when your mom and daddy don't bust your ass when you step out of line, somebody in this real world gonna hand it to you. You know what I'm saying? So you're gonna learn something, and you're gonna learn it one way or the other. You feel me? He said, "Fuck around and find out." A Miami firefighter told WTVJ. TV, all these dang uh, letters. Has he has no regrets after he had, he was caught on video repeatedly punching a handcuffed patient who spit at him in a hospital in October. Say yo, I'm about it. I stand on it. And what? Well, you know what I'm saying. Teach this to your kids. Don't spit on others. You get your ass drugged or worse. Yeah, and I agree. I second this. You feel me? <laughs> Video shows the patient identified in a police report as Antonio Cruz brought on a stretcher to the Jackson Memorial Hospital emergency room after consuming cocaine heroin. The station said Cruz was agitated and screaming in the rescue, uh, screaming to the rescue personnel. Police said, according to WTVJ which added that Cruz is seen in the video spitting in the direction of a firefighter's face. With that, the firefighter swings at and repeatedly punches Cruz. The station said, as the firefighter's colleagues tried to stop him, barely tried to stop him, what they should have said. You know what I'm saying? They was trying to miss them elbows because the motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? Them bitches was big and swinging with force. So they was trying to miss them bad boy. They were like, whoa, police way on the other side. He said, yeah, that's a big fella. Let me step on this side and let me just try to pull the patient instead of trying to pull the uh, the firefighter because that motherfucker was big. He didn't want to catch one of them elbows, man. Oh, God. The city of Miami Department of Firefighter of Fire Rescue said in a statement that the firefighter Robert Webster, a lieutenant, top dog up there, been doing this. For years was immediately relieved of duty following the October 15th incident. And an investigation commits. Yeah. Webster told WT 
VJ, he doesn't regret his actions. Say, yeah, I stand on it. And what? I do it again. He do it again, I do it again. Anybody else do it, I do it again. Take this as a PSA. God damn it, he said. That's what he said. He added that if, if he never knew the consequence of spitting in a grown man's face, then consider my actions public education. And this video, a public service announcement. Now, what he said, man, the man spitting. You know what I'm saying? WTVJ said Webster spoke to the station in 2019 about an incident two years prior when he found nooses hanging over his family's pictures at the fire station. Whoa. I want justice. I want to love this job again, Webster said then, according to the station. Wow. Mm. Now, ain't that something? Ain't that something? Didn't know that information right at the end, huh? Man. Bro could be in the ring with Jake Paul, eh? I'm bro was skilled. Bro out there, ain't he, he fighting way more than fires, man. Yo. He fighting way more than fires, man. Shit. Man, he spit at the wrong one. He should have spit at one of them little puny motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? He underestimated. He just got mad. He let that heroin, the heroin was, was talking to him then. You know what I'm saying? But that cocaine kicked in when that man started coming at him with that full force. He said, whoo, the man dodged that motherfucker with full force. That was cocaine. You know what I'm saying? Yo, that's what's going down. <laughs> Yo, man, y'all good? Y'all good out there, man? <laughs> Shit. Crazy, crazy world, man. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and follow up at this thing. It's been so lovely. I appreciate y'all for putting up to the bootleg ass studio on God. Y'all be careful out here, man. Don't be spitting on folks. Don't let folks spit on you. Ugh, I bet that whole room was funky after he spit. Ugh. God damn. Mm.